thanks for waiting for me. I just wanted to change out of the clothes that I was wearing earlier. Yeah, they weren't the most comfortable, <laughs> but you know, Easter, it's a time where everyone loves to dress up, wear their nice pastels, which I did put on a sweater that's got a lot of colorful yarn woven into it, so I'm still in my springtime vibe, but <laughs> anyway, thanks for waiting for me. I'm really excited to do this with you. Have you ever colored eggs before? Okay, well, this pack may be different or similar. I haven't actually used them before. I just got them at my local shop. The one right down on 57th. You know the one I'm talking about? Yeah, it's a really cute like mom and pop convenience store. They've been around forever, honestly. But I got two of them. We can decide which one we want to use or we could combine the two use both of them. Honestly, whatever you want is fine with me. I'm just so excited that you're here. You're in my house and we're gonna work on this project together and hopefully you'll stay afterwards. Although, I will say I didn't hard boil these eggs. I had another idea in mind so even if you're not able to stick around much longer after the project, I should be able to send you home with a nice little art piece to remember this day by, which is kind of why I wanted to do this route of egg coloring or dyeing versus the hard boil. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. I'll show you what it is, but do you want to get started? Do you have any questions? Yeah, the boxes have directions on them. We can read through them together. Why don't I just show you what I have first and foremost. So I obviously brought some measuring utensils. This is a standard tablespoon and then this is a half of a cup and we need both of those because these both require the same starting um, materials, which is basically water and vinegar. So the directions say, here, one second. The directions say to place one of these tablets inside of a glass, which I brought five different ones because I only have five eggs right now. I was going to go to the store and get more, but I was like, no, we're definitely going to have enough. And then we had five. So I was honestly thinking we could do like two for you and then two for me. And the extra egg can just be like either a joint art piece between the two of us or I mean you can just have it. I've done this so many times and it seems pretty new to you still so I'd love to give you a little bit more of an experience than I'm gonna have. It's no big deal. Oh yeah, I like I said I'm really happy in general just to be experiencing this with you specifically. I've been just so eager to spend more time with you, so this is really fun. Um, anyway, so we need to place one of the tablets into a cup of warm water. We're supposed to use only a half cup of water, which, to be honest, it doesn't seem like enough water to cover the egg. So I might have to double the recipe, but anyway, each cup gets one half cup of warm water, which 
I put it in this metal pitcher, so hopefully it will stay hot. I can feel it. It definitely feels warm still. That's good. And then you put three tablespoons of vinegar and you stir it until the color tablet has dissolved, which apparently for the pink and purple tablets, you only need to use water, no vinegar. So that's only for the lighter colors. Um, then of course you dip the egg into the cup and the more time you leave it, the brighter it gets. I was thinking we could leave them for like 30 minutes, maybe 45, just, you know, depending on how things go. But after that, you remove the egg from the dye and this box has little punch outs. I don't know if you can see these little like holes here, but you can like place the eggs in here as they dry. And then this pack specifically comes with a golden glaze, they call it. This is the golden treasure pack which I love gold, as you know, so I thought this would be good. Um, but you place the colored egg into a little pouch and you drop the glaze onto it and you're supposed to gently rub the glaze around or rub the pouch or something and then you place it back on the drying tray and once it's completely dry, then it's of course safe to handle without getting gold all over your hands. So yeah that's pretty much what i have um this pack the reason that i got this one which i set it down earlier because i went to read the directions and i noticed the box is kind of ripped but it's honestly already opened like i said i went to that local shop and this was the only pack i could find that was different from this one this one doesn't come with something that i find very important like necessary to do egg coloring and that is the magic pen do you see this little area here where the egg didn't get colored well that's because this pack oh well while we're here this is what you use to hold the egg up i'll show you how to do it in a little bit but anyway this pack comes with this. It's like a wax crayon, almost, but you can use it to write things on the egg and you can't see it until after it's colored. So I thought, well, I have an idea for that, but I'll tell you later. <laughs> anyway, this one also comes with stickers and just different stuff that you can apply to the egg to make it look a little bit more decorated inherently i'm not sure if i'm gonna do that i'm not super into it but whatever i mean maybe i will maybe i won't we'll see um so yeah i guess i'll just get everything set up for us these are actually kind of cute. So it looks like they're little sleeves that you can sort of wrap around the egg. And I guess maybe it sticks together or something. Cute. But like I said, I love the color gold, so I'll probably end up going for the golden treasures. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the nursery rhyme with like the golden egg the golden goose egg no i can't remember exactly what the story is but some boy finds a golden goose egg and it's magical of course because geese don't like golden eggs typically so of course in this nursery rhyme it's like a completely magical egg again i forget what happens i just remember Wishing I had a gold egg to find. Sounded so fun and cool. So this is going to be my golden egg. <laughs> I'll finally get one today. So this little thing, which I'm assuming there's another one in the other box that you can use. It's flat 
but we obviously don't want it to be flat because we're gonna use this to basically dip the egg into the dye so I am going to bend it right here where this little piece is meeting the top so it's kind of more like a flat ladle almost and then I'm going to bend this other side down the other way so you can hold it and drop it in like that so obviously the egg will sit on here yeah you get it speaking of eggs we need to prepare them for the dye and we are going to do that by poking a hole in the top and the bottom and then proceeding to blow the inside out into this glass jar. I know, so cool, right? I also have these toothpicks that we can use to poke a hole. And would you like to go first, or do you want to see how it's done, and then you can try? Okay, I'll show you what to do. So, I have my eggs, and I'm just going to open them up. As you can see, there is one, two, three, four and five eggs in here and I'm going to I'll just grab one for right now and I'm going to on the top of the egg poke a little hole trying really hard not to crack the entire egg because that would not work very well. So I'm going to try to poke a tiny little hole in the top, which honestly, these toothpicks might not be strong enough. I might need something like a thumbtack or a safety pen. Hmm. Okay, hold on a sec. Let me go see if I can find something else. Okay, so I got a nail, like, to hang pictures up and stuff. <laughs> We're going to see if that works, but I'm going to try to gently... Oh, there we go. I'm going to whittle my way in here. And I've got my hole in the top, and I'm going to turn it over and do the same exact thing on the bottom. And it doesn't matter if they are completely straight, and we are going to need to probably make them a little bit larger. Oh, I'm slippery now because I have raw egg on me. I'm almost all the way through. There we go. So I've got both of my holes made. I'm going to make them just a teeny bit larger by kind of... Oh no. Alright, this egg cracked a little bit. We're going to have to just do our best. Okay, I'm going to gently wipe this off, and now 
as you can hear, my egg is hollow. I'm gonna repeat this on my other egg and I'll let you do yours if you'd like to. Do you wanna try? Okay, take your eggs and good luck. And I am going to do my next one. I'm just kind of poking around the hole gently to make it a little bit larger. So poking the edges with the tip of the nail until they kind of crumble into the inside of the egg. Just so I can make sure that everything is going to be able to fall out because the yolk is a little bit large. So just want to make sure there's enough space for everything. Okay. This one should be ready. Pretty silly, isn't it? The noises. Obviously, we're gonna need to rinse our mouth and wash our hands off really quick, but. We also have scrambled eggs ready to go. Just gotta whisk them up, put some seasoning in, and these are all set to be cooked. <laughs> all right. Have my two hollow eggs. How is yours going over there? Good. I will go ahead and do this last one for us. And then we can get started with coloring them, right? Cool. Okay. Set these aside. one is stubborn. <sighs> there we are. Oh, I'm a little out 
of breath from that. All of our eggs are done. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this off. And now that I have my three eggs, We can go ahead and draw on them with our magic marker or crayon or wax carving tool. Anyways, <laughs> we can go ahead and draw some designs and now that I'm thinking about it, I maybe should have done that before I hollowed out the eggs because again, they're very fragile now, so just try not to press too hard when you're drawing your design, okay? Hmm, what do I want to write? hard to see where you've drawn, so just do your best. Mm -hmm. I'll obviously let you have a turn with this after me. I'm surprised it didn't. Strong little egg. Writing you a secret message. <laughs> I'm excited for you to see it after the egg is colored. I'm done using this. Would you like a turn? There you go. <sighs> Should I start preparing the dye? Okay. Um, do you want to wash your hands or anything? From the raw egg. Yeah, let me go wash mine too. I'll come with you. Could you pass me the soap? 
Thank you. We get our glasses ready. Again, I have five, but I don't know if we'll need all of them, especially if we want to use the same colors as each other. Anyways. Each of these glasses is going to get two excuse me, three tablespoons of vinegar and one half of a cup of warm water. So let's get them divvied up. Tablespoons of vinegar each. And I'll leave two of these open with no vinegar for the pink and the purple. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. All right, that one's got a little extra vinegar. And now we can open this up and put in the coloring tablets. <laughs> Sealed pretty well. really hope there's coloring tablets in here, because if not, ha, we would be in bad shape, but here they are. And another one of these. Again, we'll bend it up right there and over to make a nice little ladle. And now we have two. One for me and one for you. what all this is in there. Oh, this must be the gold foil packet. Interesting. Okay, and then that's it. We just got the Razzle Dazzle Gold Glaze, this bag to put it in, and these coloring tablets. Let's go ahead and throw them in and see what we get. I only have five glasses and there's six colors, but since we only have five eggs, we can just do five colors. So which one should we skip? There is green, pink, purple, red, and blue, and then orange. What do you think? I for sure want the blue, 
and I think we should do the pink and purple and green. So between red and orange, which one should we skip? Okay. Let me go ahead and open this up and I will drop them in. It's so fun to watch these fizz up with the vinegar. Oh, they're all falling out. Okay. I'm trying not to touch them with my hands too much. I'm already getting dye all over my fingers, but that's okay. All right, here they go into the water. We have blue and we'll do green. And I'm not sure which one is pink, but I know this one's purple. And hmm, that one actually kind of looks like a blue. I might have to put vinegar in that. Oh no, now we have two blues. All right, we'll do this in here. And I guess we'll have to put this. I'm not sure. This seems purple. Maybe we'll do the orange instead. We'll see how it goes. And I'll give them a little mix. And maybe I'll just put this one in here. We'll just do two and one. See how it goes. was orange is actually yellow. Very interesting. So it looks like we have... I'm going to put vinegar in this one. It looks like we have a light blue, a dark blue, an orangey pink, red, and yellow, and then green. And the colors look fairly bright, if I do say so. I'm going to wait a little bit for the tablets to dissolve. And while I do that, Let's have a little chat, shall we? <laughs> so, how are you feeling about everything that's going on right now? Yeah, I know it has been a little bit frustrating for you, so I don't know, I just wanted to check in and ask if you have any new developments in your mindset on the situation or any improvements. Hmm. Yeah, that's understandable. Well, you know, you can always talk to me if you need someone. I'm here for you. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Tablets are still dissolving. Few more minutes. So, I saw this thing online where people were using tinfoil 
to make cool designs on their eggs. I don't know if I'm going to try that today, but it did look really fun. However, I'm thinking I might just go ahead and drop my first egg in. And since it's hollow, I'm not sure if I need to stick it on the lever, but I'm probably just going to. So you take this and you set the egg here. And it just kind of sits on there. Again, like a little spoon or a ladle. And I'm going to go ahead and dunk into the... Mm, let's do the mixture. Orange and pink or something. Oh my. That died fast. And it looks really cool so far. So already, even just in the moments oh, that it was in there, this egg already has quite a bit of color. And it almost looks tie-dyed. Super cool, I love it. I'm gonna put it back in for a while longer. Cause like they said, the longer it's in here, the more color it will get. By the way, I have another paper towel for you if you need it. Hmm. <sighs> for this egg, my secret message. I think I'm going to do blue. Because these eggs are hollow, they make a lot of funny noises when the water goes inside of them. Okay, gonna let that one sit in there for now. And for my last one, I'm going to do green. Although I'm surprised to say, I think my favorite so far is this pink and purple mixture. It looks incredible. Alright, well I let those sit. I am going to wash my hands again because they're getting very stained with this dye. <laughs> Do you need anything while I'm over there? Like a glass of water or anything like that? Okay. Yeah, I can absolutely grab that for you. Just one second. your glass of water, a mug. I didn't have any more clean glasses because we're using a lot of them for the eggs. But anyways, I almost forgot to ask you, what color would you like your eggs to be? You have your two that you hollowed out. Honestly, very, very good job on doing that. And now we need to dye them. Do you want to just do the two colors that I haven't used? Yellow and I believe dark blue. Is that okay with you? It might be purple. 
yeah, Vikings colors. <laughs> okay, well, do you want to do the honors or do you want me? Yeah, I can do it for you. I'm an expert. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna put the yellow one in first. And there goes all the bubbles. And I'm gonna roll it over, make sure it gets nice and coated. And then, purple. Or dark blue, I'm really not sure. This one honestly doesn't look like it's gonna do a whole lot. And you know why? Oh, oh, wait, there's purple. I'm just gonna let this one surprise me. How about that? Because I didn't put any vinegar in here. We'll just let that one sit for a while and see what it feels like doing. Okay, check on mine. They're getting colored pretty quickly. My green looks good. Oh my gosh. And my secret message is already appearing on the blue one. Don't peek. You're not allowed to see. Ah, it looks so good. Okay. One more. And it looks stunning. Oh, I love this one. It's so pretty. It looks like a sunset. Gorgeous. Okay, well, these are looking good. I think we can leave them for about maybe 10 more minutes, I would think, and then should be good to go. <sighs> well, I think we're all finished with the vinegar and this water, so I'm going to go ahead and put these away and after that I'll get the station cleaned up a little bit and we can chat as we wait for our eggs to finish. I'm excited. Even this paper towel is starting to look like a work of art. Pretty. You know, I have some paintbrushes. We could totally use them to paint some nice napkin art. It's one of my mom's favorites. <laughs> so you really never did this as a kid? Gosh. It's just so wild to imagine all the different traditions that certain people do and others don't. Like for me, there was no Easter without egg coloring. It's just part of the tradition. It always happens. And if it doesn't, it's not Easter. It's just not the same without it. It's just so interesting to think about. Hmm. <laughs> Your purple egg is really coming along nicely. Have to be careful. But look. It looks so beautiful. This half isn't really dyed as much as this side, so I'm going to try and flip it over if I can. Here we go. Flip and dunk. Get 
the dye back on the inside. Let that one sit for a little bit. Oh, don't want to break it. These are so fragile. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Cleaned off. Look at all that. So crazy. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try and use the gold glaze? Okay, we can do that afterwards. I'm assuming you're not interested in any of these. Yeah, sure, I'll save it for next time. That's a good idea, I don't need to throw them away. These, I don't think we're gonna use anymore. I'll just leave them up here for now. Um, these away, leave that out. I accidentally dropped the glaze. And here it is, back up on the floor. I'm actually gonna get a scissors. I'm so excited. It's almost time for our eggs. Oh, and you know what? I shouldn't have put those boxes away because they're our drying tray. We need those. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he grabbed this one because it was already a little bit broken so just figured we would break it down first and you know I'm just gonna start I'm not even sure I think you're supposed to poke them out from the inside maybe hello isn't the easiest thing to break. Here we go. Okay. One circle down. We have five eggs, so we need at least five of these. Okay. Two down. Three. We'll do this one down here. <laughs> I should have had you do this part. You're much stronger than I am. Oh no. Okay. This one. something but I've got our five holes one two three four five all ready to go and you know I'm gonna stir our eggs a little more but I think they're pretty much ready to come out what do you think 
want to take a look and let me know if you think they're done? My green is getting dyed a little bit unevenly. I think your purple is as well. Oh, but it looks so beautiful. Mm, my secret message is coming out nice and clear. Mm, I think mine are done for sure. If you want to let yours sit a little bit longer, I completely understand. But I think mine are pretty much done. Um, I cleaned up too soon. I need a paper towel to wipe this off. And then I'm going to take mine out. <laughs> The most exciting part, get to take them out and unveil onto this little drying sheet. Okay, take my pink and orange out first. Again, trying to drain all that dye on the inside. Might need to put this paper towel underneath here, just in case anything drips a little bit too much. Okay, let's try this again. It's a lot more difficult than it looks, but I think I've got it. And on the drying rack it goes. There we go. Okay, and next I'll do my green. Hmm, it's a little lopsided, but that's okay. Put that right here. Oh no, don't roll away. Okay. There we go. And last but not least, my secret message for you. Secret message for you covered in blue. It has a lot of dye in it. Onto the tray, she goes. Oh no, oh no. There we go, <laughs> saved. Do you want me to take yours out or do you want to leave them in a little bit longer? Sure. Let's move these out of the way. Such pretty colors. Your purple is just so gorgeous. It's like even got some blue looking in there. Love it. Put that right over here. There we go. And last 
but not least yellow, which is a very light color. So I'm gonna make sure I'm not tainting it with other dye. And pull this out. I don't wanna impose on your idea, but I thought yellow could be a good candidate for the golden glaze, just because it's so similar, uh, so similar to gold already but it's up to you here are our final eggs so far at least they're looking very colorful very easter i'm really happy with how they turned out um is there any colors you wanted to dip into another one double dip I honestly might put my green in like the orange and red or the purple or something or even the blue and make like a teal color. I don't know. What do you think? You don't want to switch anything? Okay. Yeah, we should probably just leave them. Well, we'll let these dry for a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and clear these colors off and dump them down the drain before they spill and dye my carpet a rainbow. <laughs> I'll meet you back over here and we can compare eggs and maybe do the golden glaze. Although I am a little bit nervous that using this to roll them around might result in some cracking and breaking considering they're not hard boiled. They're hollow. Hollow. Might not be the best idea, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna dump these and then I'll meet you back over here for our reveal. I'm a little impatient, so I'm going to speed up the process of the drying a little bit by just moving these onto paper towels. Just getting the excess soaked in, because look at how much liquid was hiding in there, and it's still dripping out. Oh, goodness. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Now it's just one egg. Imagine how long that would have taken had I not helped. Wow, there's a lot of liquid in there. I thought these two paper towels were going to be good for all of the eggs, but it turns out <laughs> they only lasted me one. 
So I'm going to put this back. Actually, I'm going to set it over here on a different paper towel. And I'm going to go get some more because it looks like we're going to need a little bit more than just two of them. Let's do your purple. Which is so interesting because the bottom of the egg made like a blue mark, but the top of the egg is making purple dots. So I'm really not sure what color that dye was supposed to be, but it made a little bit of both blue and purple. Very cool. Okay, this one is pretty dry and it's just beautiful. Thought I got some dye on my sleeve. But this egg, especially this side, I just love all these colors. You did a great job with this one. Did you draw anything on yours? You decided not to. How come? Oh, that's okay. No, you didn't have to, I just, I don't know, I thought it would be fun to leave each other secret messages like on this one. Mm, you can't see quite yet. It's not dry. I'll show you as soon as it's dry. Well, as soon as they're all dry. I mean, this egg is pretty much the whole reason that I wanted you to come do this with me. Apart from just wanting to spend time with you, of course. But no, this egg is also part of my plan. Don't tell anyone. Okay, that one's pretty dry. And we'll do green next. What a nice shade of green. It really does match my sweater. There's some green threads in here. And blue ones. These eggs match very well. There's yellow as well. Pink and purple. I knew this would be a good shirt for this. All right, we have one egg left. Little yellow, which I really do think we should use for the golden glaze. Is that okay with you? I am nervous about it, and I'm sorry in advance if I end up breaking it, but I just want to see what it's like. I've never used it before. <laughs> this one has little specks of red and orange because I didn't wipe off my spoon very well when I was stirring, so the colors got a little bit mixed, but it's still so cute. I love doing this. I just think it's so fun. And I'm also, again, of course, getting dye on my hands. Why wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't I be getting messy? Why not? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna dry these puddles of water, colored water, from inside of here. They're just sitting in the bottom of the tray. And that's not going to help anybody. Although they didn't go all the way through, which is nice. This cardboard is stronger than I thought it would be. Alright, well, let's do the golden glaze first. And then... Then I'll reveal my message. Okay. 
Mm, I'm so excited to open this. So it says you're supposed to cut on this diagonal line. Maybe I should have worn gloves. I'm nervous. Oh goodness. Okay. We're gonna put our egg in here. Are you ready? Here we go. Whoa. <gasps> okay. And now we're supposed to use the bag to kind of roll it around in the glaze. This is working, but it looks cool. <sighs> this is what we've got. It says to put it back on the drying tray and let it dry again. So I guess that's what I'll do. Just looks a little bit shiny in some areas. but it does look a little bit more golden and shiny. <laughs> It'll be our Art Deco egg. Should I do any of the other ones? No. Yeah, well, it was a fun experiment. Do you want to hear what my egg says? Says, I have a crush on you. Although the you and the crush got a little bit overlapped, but it's true. I have a crush on you, <laughs> and I wanted you to keep this as a reminder of that, because I know we're taking things very slowly, which is nice, and I know our families both really appreciate that, but let's face it, when we're alone together, there's just no denying the fact that the electricity is flowing ever so strongly between the two of us. And it makes me nervous, and it makes me excited, and that's why I wanted to send you home with a very gentle reminder that I have a crush on you, and only you. And as of right now, that's the way it's going to stay. So, I hope you take this home. And if you want, I could make you a little cardboard stand to set it on. <laughs> so you can display it proudly in your room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, my mom is actually the one who showed me the hollow technique because I wanted to make an egg for my friend but she was on vacation 
and she wasn't going to be back for another like three weeks, which hard-boiled eggs don't last quite that long. So the best solution was to make her a hollow egg that would last forever. So when she got back from her trip, I could still give it to her. And of course, I thought that the sentiment of that would be nice. Just with a different message. <gasps> These eggs are so much stronger than I ever thought they would be. Look at that. One piece didn't even break. That is incredible. But before I do it again, here, please take this home with you. <sighs> yeah, no, it's okay. I. Look at my hands, I'm just a mess. You might think they're barely messy, but I disagree. Anyway, please take that home with you and look at it every single day. So you can be reminded of me. Because you don't come over very often, so... At least you can think of me when you're away. Nonetheless, here are our wonderful eggs from today. I'm very proud of them. I'm very happy with what we've done. And I think this was a very successful egg dine session, don't you? I had a lot of fun with you. <laughs> oh, stop. You're going to make me blush. Or maybe I just need to put some dye on my cheeks and then I can just blush all the time. Because you're always saying such nice stuff to me. Well, I hope I can keep returning the favor by telling you how amazing you are and how big the crush has become. It grows every day. <laughs> oh... You're sweet. I'm batting my eyes at you. I'm flirting. What are you gonna do about it? <gasps> Relax! It's Easter! You're not supposed to be talking like that on days like this. It's sacred, remember? <laughs> oh my gosh. You're bad. Bad, bad, bad. Well, I know you have to get going. And I do too. I have the family event that I told you about, but this was a perfect afternoon. No, really. I wouldn't have spent it any other way. And I got to do my favorite Easter activity with my favorite person. Win, win, win. <laughs> Will you come back again soon? We can do another crafty project or we could just relax and hang out. It's totally up to you. Okay. <sighs> I feel so nervous around you. I'm so sorry if I act weird. It's just how it goes. Hopefully you'll get used to it soon. <laughs> Do you want to help me clean up? Okay. Yeah, if you just want to throw those away and I can put the eggs in a box for you or something. And you can take them home. Especially this one. Don't forget this one. Okay. Here, I'll put it with the others for now. Make sure you don't leave without it. Yeah, of course. It's my pleasure to host. If you want, I can come to your place next time. Whatever suits your fancy. Doesn't matter to me. I'm just happy to be around you. <laughs> okay, well, let's clean up before it's too late and we're gonna be late. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
I got that. Don't worry about it. Just You can just throw these away and I'll take care of the rest. Really. Honestly, just don't even worry about cleaning up. I'll just do it. It's no problem. I do it all the time. It's my house anyway. <laughs> okay. Just, yeah, get your stuff together and I'll walk you out when you're ready. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Pretty nice, these eggs that we made. Very colorful. Bright and beauty. Full of love, light and sunshine.